My name is Matt Mueller. I'm the editor of Screen International, and we are at Hong Kong Film Art today, joined by Sabrina Baricetti, founder of the Far East Film Festival in Udine, Italy. Welcome, Sabrina. Tell me, as someone who's been involved in looking at the Asian film industries for a very long time, do you spot any trends in terms of how Western audiences engage with Asian films since you, since you started Udine? Yes. Okay, thank, thank you very much for having me today here at Film Art in Hong Kong. We run two cinemas in our town. The first two movies at the box office at the beginning of this year, uh, they were actually Asian films. So The Perfect Day by Wim Wenders is actually a Japanese film. And it was an incredible successful at the box office in Italy. No one would even image the other one was, uh, of course, a Miyazaki new film, animation. Uh, the Italian people, uh, Italian audience, really loved Miyazaki's film. And this one was really a movie, commercially, from a commercial point of view, very successful. But if you're looking at the industries that are rising, which ones do you think are uh, putting forward the most exciting filmmaking voices? I think that probably in the future we will uh, wait for some new movies, new directors from territories or countries like uh, Japan, China, Korea, because in the end these kind of uh, movie industries are still the strongest. In the, in the Asian continent. They're the most established and they yes. have the strongest production infrastructures. Yes. How has your festival been able to recover from the COVID pandemic uh, in terms of sponsorship and audiences? Is, is that an ongoing process or are you, are you where you would like to be at this stage? No, I think nowadays we can say that we are fully recovered. It was very hard, but in the end, not now, the festival is uh, even stronger than before COVID. The same is happening for the regular. It's probably a general phenomenon because the people really love to go and see films uh, in the theaters. And gender parity has uh, been a big issue with film festival programming in recent years. A lot of attention is put on that now, particularly with festivals like Cannes and Venice. How do you approach that as a programmer for your own festival? As a woman, I can say that, of course, uh, we are super supportive uh, with uh, female directors, and uh, we always wanted to give space to the female directors. <laughs> but still, the numbers are really small, so we, we should do something more. We should want them to be the new directors of the future. So. This is uh, something that we will keep in mind forever. Sabrina Baricetti, thank you very much for joining us today and enjoy the rest of your film art. Thank you so much.